Hello, this is a presentation of the study on multilingual multimodal compositions of technology mediated hybrid spaces. You can see it's by uh, Dr. Martinez Alvarez and Maria Paula Giso. It gives me hope that the attention is being given to diverse ways of learning, just the title itself, but focusing on those words multilingual, multimodal, and technology focused. So here you see the actual reference for the article. Um, you'll notice that, as we have already learned, Dr. Martinez Alvarez followed a path similar to the one that we now are treading in the uh, instructional technology, one version or another of it, here at uh, George Mason. Now this presents my ideas of an analysis of the article. It's a good study. It is indeed designed well, and it does cover an extensive two-year period, but it was done in the first grade, and it calls us to conduct similar studies with older, more advanced populations where we might find out even more of this idea of how does this idea of literacy interpreted by emergent bilingual learners of different ages. So why did I select the study? What drew me to this study over other possibilities was the idea of the critical theory that it's based upon. The chance to present other views of literacy that are closer to the truth, in my opinion, and are, again, in my opinion, more equitable, that it gives voice to those who are frequently denied the chance to be heard. Results and conclusion. Students did indeed show agency to have influence on their future and the educational future of others. To me, it was very intriguing, very encouraging that even these young first grade students with the support of the researchers and the teachers are able to do this agency demonstration and the data collection methods. It was not explained in a formal section as with many other studies, but it can easily be gleaned from what was presented because in kind of thinking in summary the data collection is based in what the students did as part of this iteratively designed um, activities that are part of it and the research questions again not formally presented but just as the data collection methods were clearly explained and presented so are the research uh, issues the things that drove the inquiry and the inquiry issues that frame the study reinforce that this study is based in a critical examination of traditionally accepted notions of literacy. And ending with the beginning, the purpose and the context, it was a two-year study examining the ability of students, in this case very young ones, to demonstrate agency and display of literacy and further development of it. 